G'day, my name is John Moo and welcome to this week's episode of John Can Fish TV. In this episode, I'm gonna go out and catch some live pike. Then I'm gonna use that live pike to catch some jewfish at night. So, and then after that, I'm gonna come home the very next day, obviously, I'm gonna uh, clean the jewfish and then I'm gonna cook up a feast with that jewfish. Um, so stay tuned and check out this episode. If you've got any questions, leave your comments in the comment section below and please support the channel and subscribe. So let's get straight into the action. Okay, here we go. So we get to the bank. tough. Today. This will make really good dew bait, but they're kind of a little bit big too, so we'll see. Dewy bait, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I call dewy bait. Whatever it is. Oh, massive dew band. Ooh. I want to thank everyone that's supporting me on my channel. Uh, I love producing this content for you guys. Oh, he's fighting again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Have, hopefully, a few more tonight. Or another one. <laughs> you. Time to do some scaling. I, I like to... Um, the reason why I scale it and uh, not skin it is because I do like the skin 
uh, when, when it comes to our cooking. So I've just given it a quick hose, all the scales in the bag over there and, um, and the rest in the garden. I'm not scaling the head or the fins because um, my mate wants that for some soup. Yeah, I think he makes some soup or some curry with it. So the first thing I, I like to do is I always start on this side like that all right and just cut it through here just like so like that These little pin bones here, snap them off. Last one. This is it. Two excellent fillets. Want one? There you go. Off you go. One of the most popular dishes at a Chinese restaurant is honey chicken. So today I'm going to make something very similar to that. Now my background was in a Chinese restaurant, so hopefully I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so today what we're making is crispy honey fish, okay, uh, with sesame seeds at the, on top of it. So I've got this beautiful slab or half or section of the dewy that I caught today okay so what we want to do is chop it up into um, pretty much finger size pieces of of, of, hunt, of fish so I'll show you what I mean so we want what we want to do is chop it up into nice bite pieces okay so let's do that so I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna have a quick look at this so okay perfect so I'm just going to chop a piece off like that. So put that aside for now. Chop it through the middle, like so. Then we're just going to go straight across. Okay. Maybe this way first. And help. How thick do you want it? Roughly about one and a half to two centimeters. Okay, you don't want it too big. Okay. All right. Let's no bone in there. Let's chuck that in the sink. Now, what we want to do? Bit of seasoning, salt and pepper to your taste. A little bit of salt for that amount of um, fish, I'd say one teaspoon. Okay, I have to always give it a tiny bit of half teaspoon of sugar. Don't need to, I like it. Okay, let's mix this up. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Now I want to put corn flour. So I just use Coles corn flour. Now, you want it to be a bit of a dry mix. I'll show you right now. Just mix that in. You really want it coat you really want to coat it. Okay. So that's the um, consistency that you want, okay? Alright, let's wash my hands. I'm gonna get another bowl to make some flour. Okay, flour is quite simple. You want corn flour. Now in terms of measurements, how much corn flour and, and that, it sort of depends on how much fish you have. So I'm just, so in terms of the ratio, that's more important. You wanna do um, half, well, twice as much corn flour as compared to the plain flour. Because if you put too much plain flour, it wouldn't be as crunchy and hard. So I want the, out, the outside to be hard, and I want the, to be crispy when you, when you bite into it. Okay, now all I need to do is put some water. All right, so we just put some water in there. You could put egg in your flour, it's up to you, but there's no need. Once again, so how much water should you put? Once again, it depends how much fish you have and how much flour we need to mix up. But I'll show you the consistency though that you need. Okay, so that's the consistency you want. Not very runny. And you can actually test it. Grab a, a piece of fish, dip it in, and see how it's, it's not dripping, but it's holding firmly and nicely. Okay, then what I tend to do, transfer it over, like so. Semi coat some ready to go, like that. And there you have it, and you get and and get ready to go and deep fry. Okay, I'm at the backyard. This is my homemade barbecue converted into a high pressure cooker for deep frying and making fried rice and noodles and all sorts of stuff. So right now it's going to act as a deep fryer because I can get the temperatures nice and hot. Okay, so check it out show you guys all right so that's the setup all right and I've got some oil in there ready to go it's rice bran oil it's got higher heat resistance higher heat point so it's great for deep frying and my dog's coming to say hello hello Sasha hi <laughs> all right here we go all right, let's fire up this baby. You can hear it. Love the high pressure. All right. It's perfect on a cold day. Okay, so I think the oil is starting to heat up. Okay, so one way to test whether the oil is heated up um, is firstly you've got to turn it down a bit and you test it out by putting in a piece of fish.
Now, I've just finished half cooking these guys. You can see they're sort of still a little bit soft, but they're not raw, so they're not sticking to each other. Um, now you've got to heat it up. Just make sure that your oil is not too cold because if not, the batter will absorb um, all the cold oil. That's why you get really greasy deep fried food. It's because the oil's not hot enough. So you just got to heat it up and that looks pretty good. So now, just got to be extra cautious when you do this at home. Okay. This is the reason why I've got a high pressure cooker. You can't do this in a domestic kitchen. Make sure you loosen them up. Like that. Okay. Should be almost ready. Just got to look at the coloration. Make sure they. Oh, looper. Make sure they're separated all, all the way through. Turn this up, let it cool down. So the next process now is to make the honey sauce. You can see it's not oily or greasy. Okay, let's go make the honey sauce. Okay, so a little bit of water on the pan. Make sure you heat it up. You need two ingredients, actually three ingredients for this. You need sugar, honey, natural honey, and a little bit of vinegar, which I didn't get. All right, let's put a little bit of vinegar a little bit honey don't be shy with your honey it's honey fish let's call it honey dew I think this is the first time anyone's ever made a honey dew hello Kiara all right that's all the honey you need you know, right, just make sure it's on high. Now, the job is to caramelize it. Two, three, four. All right, I'll just pause the video and once it's uh, caramelized to how I like it, I'll show you the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, it's coming close. You, you don't want it dripping off um, the utensil so quickly. So you want that little bit of thickness, but you don't want it to be overly caramelized or else when you bite into the honeydew fish, it sticks onto your teeth, right? You don't want that either. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, perfect. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to pour a few of these guys in here. Oops. I'm not using the big wok, so I can't really toss it. So I'm just going to have to take it easy and coat it slowly, domestically. <laughs> I'll put the rest in now, get rid of that. Just 
coat these bad boys up. Okay, like such. Light this up. Honey Jew, baby. All right. Now with the finishing touches. Get a sesame. My wife's gonna love me after this, gonna make a mess. <laughs> the kids will love it. The kids told me to do that. <laughs> There you have it. Honey Jewfish. Honey. Make sure you put a comment um, if you've got any questions. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you, if you like this content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.